Hey, Twitter, do you guys know that I'm actually a lesbian in real life? Like, I'm a girl, and I have a girlfriend. I'm a lesbian. So now I can get married. This shit's awesome, dude. Yup. Okay, Faith. Hello, everybody. My name is Data Raven, and brace yourself for probably the biggest exposition in a rant video about anybody in the Roblox community ever. Now, this is a video I've been wanting to make for a while, but I finally gathered enough proof, screenshots, references, and all of that shit to finally just sit down and start on the video. Welcome to the rant video on Roblox Faith, the video that will go down in history for being the greatest, most truthful, and well put together rant video in all of Roblox YouTube history. This video will not just cover the things Fave has done to me, but it will cover almost everything that my research has led me to find about this person and the horrible stuff that Fave does to other people, including my close friends. Fave, the guy that made me fucking depressed for over a month back in 2015 because of how much hate he managed to convey on me. At one point, I was so vulnerable because of everything he did that I resorted to having fucking suicidal thoughts. And if I ever tried to speak out about this and defend myself, he would call me an attention whore, saying I'm playing the victim card, then get all of his friends to back him up and throw insults at me, not caring how I felt at all. Now all of that happened in early to mid-2015, so I'm not really going to talk about that, but there's so much shit that I need to cover in this video that I don't even know where to start. So I'm just going to start off this rant with how I met Fave and how we became such good enemies. And then shook your babies, and then put your baby in the garbage disposal, and then drank the liquid that came out, and then came everywhere, on your dog. Now when I first met Fave, I thought he was a pretty cool dude. We had a couple Skype calls and I thought we were going to be friends, but at the time we met I was 13 years old and I was a very sensitive person, meaning I could take anything anybody said to me in an offensive way even if it wasn't intended to be. Now Fave back then gave out cruel but constructive criticism. Even if the video maker didn't want constructive criticism, he would give it anyways. He always had to put his two cents in due to how big his ego was and how good he thought his videos were compared to everyone else's. Now he started this thing back in 2014 called Fave Gives Feedback. He doesn't do it anymore, but it's where he would rate someone's video of his opinion out of 10. This is a thread he made for it. You see how he claims it's feedback and constructive criticism, right? Well, look at this! That's not fucking constructive criticism, you fucking idiot. That's plain out hating and discouraging someone from making videos. Now, Faye went on to give people his quote-unquote constructive criticism and then came across me. I remember how this exactly went too. I made a video called Fave Sleeping With My Girlfriend in 2014 and this was one of my first machinimas. I had a Fave voice act in it and when I sent it to him he immediately started picking the video apart and talking shit about it. Now remember, I was pretty sensitive at the time and I took everything too seriously. So when I spun the way I did, he just bitched about how I couldn't take criticism and called me sensitive, which I was and there's nothing wrong about that, but he used my sensitivity and self-consciousness against me as a way to tear me down. Now I've gotten a lot better on myself and I have a much stronger character now, which is why I actually have the guts to tell everybody the truth about Fave in this video. But I'm not even the only one that was affected by Fave's quote-unquote constructive criticism. I found this thread created by someone named Epic. Gold Fox. In the thread, he gets a link to a video, and he says in the thread that Fave literally told him to quit YouTube. The video he posted either got deleted or taken down, so unfortunately we can't watch the video. But Fave himself even replied to the kid, saying, So you make a horrible forum simulator, then you make a horrible video to respond to an honest statement. Newbie video makers these days. And if you go to the kid's profile, he literally says that he is fucking 11 years old. So Fave literally ruined an 11-year-old's dream, assuming that this was written back then, considering he hasn't been online since he posted the thread. So good job, Fave. You ruined an 11-year-old's dream of becoming a YouTuber and could have possibly even made him quit Roblox in the process. What a great fucking guy. Because I had a friend who knew, who gave me a list of the 20 most ratchet hoes who would grind on anyone. And I did not find out all of them. I found about half of them, and they grinded on me. They grinded on me. They grinded on me. <laughs> they grinded on me.
Now enough with that old shit. That was from nearly two years ago when Fave may have changed his ways of giving people constructive criticism, but he hasn't shown me or anyone else that he did, so probably not. But either way, that's 2014 old petty shit. But other than his horrible constructive criticism that literally made a young YouTuber quit, he is a fucking jealous cunt. I did not know that Envy could consume somebody's character so fucking badly. And Fave says all the time that he's not jealous of other people's success. That is a flat out lie. That's bullshit, and his actions prove that it's complete bullshit. So you know what AML is, right? Fave absolutely hated them for the most stupid reason, and we all know that reason. It's because they got a ton of success off of music videos. Fave went on and on, and we will still go on about he never hated AMLers, but his actions showed otherwise. Back in 2014, he started so much hate against AMLers. Like around November of 2014 on VCR was the month I would call the AMLers Riot Month because it was the highest and strongest point of the hate that was for AAMLers at the time. There were so many posts hitting on AAMLers and Fave didn't create any of them, but he supported each and every single one of them. And back then, and still kinda now, Fave is considered a big Roblox YouTuber. Therefore, he has influence on people, and he especially did on the people of VCR and especially more definitely did back then in 2014. VCR treated him superior because since he had a large subscriber count and people automatically looked up to him and thought of him as a leader. So whenever Fave went with, he started a bandwagon and people hopped on that bandwagon without actually developing their own opinions. Since Fave always bitched about how AA Millers doesn't deserve their subscribers and how their videos are just so horrible, people fouled him and joined in on the hate as well. It got so bad that Ashley, one of the sisters of AA Millers at the time, had to come onto VCR and attempt to seize the hate. But it didn't work as people just responded immaturely while in favor of Fave. Fave was even so triggered and upset about the success of the A. Millers that he decided to create a whole thread about it called the Aqua Chick Effect. It basically explained how a female Roblox YouTuber will automatically get famous be just because of their girls. Incredibly sexist. Everybody attacked Fave for this and he had a desperate attempt to defend what he was saying but could never admit that he was wrong. Even to this fucking day, the thread was recently bumped and he commented on the thread still defending his sexist theory. So is that enough proof for you that he's jealous of other YouTubers' success? No? Well don't worry because I have more proof. Everybody knows that Believe is HD, right? Well recently he has been blowing up on YouTube and Fave just can't handle that. Fave is just so jealous and upset of his success that he went as far as to put this in the end of one of his videos. What the hell is wrong with him? And as I believe his HD being a very good friend of mine, I take offense to that too. Fave has no logical reason to hate on Oblivious HD. Oblivious HD is probably the nicest guy I ever ran into. And I'm not just saying that because he's my friend, but because he legitimately is a great guy and is rude to nobody. He has no enemies, and the only people who don't like him are Fave and the people that are jealous of his success. The only kind of a rude thing my research found that Oblivious HD said to Fave was calling him pessimistic. Which is true anyways. So Faye, explain yourself. Why don't you like Oblivious HD? Well actually, you like to disguise your emotions and make them look more civil and mature. So you said you don't respect him. Why? Why don't you respect him? Because he's growing so fast, right? That's not a logical thing to not respect someone for. That's plain out petty and childish. I'm an athlete, right? And people in races beat me all the time. But I don't get upset at them and I don't say I don't respect you just because they beat me in a race. Why? Because they put more work into their training, they push themselves harder, and they earn to win the race. Now this is the same concept here. I believe HD puts way as hell as more work into his videos than Fave does. He literally takes a whole month to make one of his videos when Fave squeezes one out of his ass every week. And because Oblivious puts more work into his videos and makes them creative, he earns the subscribers he gets, and he will earn the 100k subscriber mark, and will earn the silver play button. As Oblivious HD is putting all the work he does into his videos, and having all this success. Fave is just down in the gutter while his channel goes to shit because he does nothing else than bitch and complain about how Oblivious HD is beating him. And a big thing Fave says is that Oblivious's list videos are clickbait, which is why he grows so fast. One, list videos are not fucking clickbait. And two, Fave, look at your three most popular videos. On top of that, why does Fave even care? Fave, focus on your own fucking channel and stop worrying about other people's success. Let Oblivious HD do what makes him happy and don't message him calling him a fucking gay boy and most definitely don't call him the N-word. And yes, these are the exact chat logs Oblivious HD sent to me himself. So it turns out Fave is also a racist. Ah, what else is new?
Now this was just the first part of the Roblox Fave rant. The entire video is pretty long and I'm worried that if it was too long then people wouldn't watch it and I need people to watch it because I need as much people as possible to hear the truth. Regarding that, it would be awesome if you could spread this video around everywhere you can and the Roblox Twitter community would be the best too. Now if you thought this was hard on Fave, just wait until the second one comes out. The second one is where all the juicy shit comes out and all the hardcore exposing will take place. I want to thank all of you so much for watching this video and please hit that thumbs up button for the second version and to indicate that you understand that Fave is just not a good person.